Who is your favorite villain in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies? When you toss a question like that in my direction, you're asking me to dig into a treasure trove of quirky and memorable villains. The Guardians of the Galaxy franchise doesn't just serve up cardboard cutout antagonists. It gives us characters with style, motivation, and often, a killer soundtrack. My personal favorite has to be Yondu Udanta, if we can count him as a villain, which I think we can for much of the first film. Sure, he's sort of an anti-hero, but let's not forget he's a blue-skinned, mohawked space pirate who has no qualms about flinging a whistle-controlled arrow through anyone who crosses his path. That's textbook cool bad guy material there. Yandu brings so much to the table. He's got layers like that gourmet truffle you know you can't really afford, but you eat anyway because life is short. Initially, you think he's all malice and sharp teeth. Admittedly, the teeth aren't metaphorical. But as the story unfolds, we discover that he's got a heart and a complex relationship with our hero, Star-Lord. They've got a history that's tangled like last year's Christmas lights, and watching them unravel it is half the fun. Michael Rooker, the actor behind Yondu, is a legend in his own right. He infuses the character with a mixture of rough-edged tenderness and lethal charisma that's hard to find elsewhere. Let's be honest, when that arrow takes flight to the tune of Come a Little Bit Closer by Jay and the Americans, it's cinematic magic. From Portland, Oregon, where I'm writing this, to the far-flung cosmic reaches where Yondu plies his dubious trade, he remains a standout in a cosmos of characters. Yondu Udanta, you may not have been Mary Poppins, but you're still my favorite villain in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies.